All right, notes for my Technics SL1200 MK2 repair upgrade type stuff I've been doing. Of course, we've got our AC plug now in here. I need to add a fuse, so that's all the to-dos. I changed this plug to a regular two-pin. It had a three-pin before with some unused wires, which is kind of annoying. So that's the main uh, 21, 22 volt power in coming from this power supply, which is originally from a Roomba robot, if I remember correctly. It's kind of funny. What else? Uh, added a one kilo ohm resistor, took out the 120 ohm, and what that will do is that, that seems to lower the brightness, of course, for the strobe light, because that's the, uh, the power. How the strobe light works, by the way, is it gets 21 volts from that resistor, and then uh, the other side of it gets 17 volts. So it's actually four volts uh, total. A little bit confusing when you see 21 volts going to LEDs. Uh, so that's the deal with that. I added uh, two heat sinks with the Adafruit metal plate underneath them as well for the IC201 here, which gets a little bit warm. Hopefully that will help. The big job, I removed the old transistor, which I subsequently connected incorrectly and blew up. Fortunately, it didn't destroy the board. Thank God. But this is what's been on here for 10 years, bent over like so with a big ass right angle heat sink hackery on there. And it's worked for so many years, which is cool, but it's janky and I don't want janky. And I'm worried about heat being trapped in this dust cover. Now that I got a dust cover, I'm worried about that. So ran three wires uh, from Q201 all the way up down through here and I'm using the old uh, power mount plate for the uh, the power uh, transistor that was used in the AC to DC conversion circuit which of course I don't need now because I've got this guy. Uh, there's a little clip that's starting to break on this connector. I might just need to break it off completely because it's getting really annoying having to connect that back in there. Uh, also I moved uh, psh, 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 R5 and Q3, which were on the underside of the board, I moved them back to the top, cleaned up a bunch of flux and crap, cleaned up everything under here, all the burnt stuff and spilled nasty flux. So it's it's just a lot cleaner now. It's looking a lot nicer. I also repaired the, uh, the traces under here, so it is a straight shot from power over to this resistor and to this plug. What I'm thinking of doing is this plug will stay at 21 volts, but then I'll run that to the typical DC to DC step down converter MB. I forget the, the part number right now, but these are these are used in everything. And I can mount this over here somewhere, get five volts. Then from that five volts, I can power an Arduino and then put the LED um, light there. The uh, I, forget, I forget what that's called. The illumination track, whatever thing. And so that way we're not working with this 21 volts or as I previously did it, I was running from the regulator from the uh, 10 volt regulator and then doing a, doing a resistor. And that's just janky. You know, LEDs don't need that kind of voltage. Don't no reason to do it. So uh, yeah, and then some notes. I took some notes as far as the, uh, the failure. Uh, it's really interesting that this has been working for so many years with such a bad failure. So when Q201 blew up, it blew up uh, this resistor, of course, it blew up the LED resistor over there, and I, I believe it took out, well, anyway, it was, it was pretty ugly. And uh, so what uh, what's happened with this chip is essentially pins, uh, so pin 9, am I doing this? Let me think of this correctly. So pin, pin 8 is ground, and then uh, pin 9 is 9 point one volts. If I'm remembering this correctly. Oh, I'm gonna pull up my schematics. I'm real tired right now. So how this works is the base comes from pin nine, which I actually get nine point eight volts, and and then the uh, the emitter goes to pin ten, which I'm actually getting nine point two volts. Now, the reason that nine is here, it's only to help with this transistor. Um, if you follow that signal path down to the other side, it's literally just a 10K resistor from the main power rail. So, yeah, I think 
yeah, anyway, it's, it's, a, it's an old school voltage regulator circuit that's set up there, I'm pretty sure. And uh, yeah, so anyway, those voltages are correct. What's, what's the problem? Well, the problem is seven and six are reading almost full VCC, almost full, I get 9.1, 9.2 volts respectively. And as you can see here, it's supposed to be 3.3 and zero. So the hack that I did many years ago that has worked for many, many years is a 326 ohm resistor using a trim uh, potentiometer between seven and eight. What that does is that drops down pin seven's voltage to around 3.3 volts and pin six volts voltage will actually drop down to about six. That gives a differential of the three, three volts that it looks for. It's not as close to VCC and it's just enough of a differential that it will, um, since this potential is lower than six and seven's potential is lower than six, it will default to 33 RPM, and then when that potential is reversed, where this is zero and then this is 3.3 by holding six to ground, you get 45 RPM. What a weird hack. Uh, so if I make a latch circuit to hold this to ground with an Arduino and wire that up to the button press, then it will function exactly like stock. You would never know it unless you take off the hood here and have a look-see. So uh, I, I don't need a microcontroller to do that either. I could also use a Type-D flip-flop with a debounce circuit. I might do a debounce circuit anyway. It's nice to have good debounced buttons. Whew. So yeah, pretty cool. And this is so much cleaner. I cleaned up some of the rust that was under. The, the, there's, a, there's a pin that is the uh, sort of key for this spindle here, and that key had some rust under it. A lot of rust and crap around all over the place, so... Yeah, look how clean it is now. Looks real nice. I just put some, so, oh yeah, and for the wiring here, going to the, uh, this is the, the trim pot, the 326 ohm trim pot. So ground and, what is it? Ground and red are, ground is eight, is brown, seven is red, six is orange, and then the other three are currently unconnected. So for future upgrades, if I need them or for something. Yeah, and then I've also disconnected this LED over here because I'm tired of having to cover it. Though I guess I could just use some electrical tape or whatever. We'll see if the strobe light bothers me, but I can always desolder that one wire there if it does. And I'll put this back together and start enjoying music for now. <laughs> 